Good morning, hot dog. Wait, Azuzin, what is today? Today. Yeah, what? what's today? Today's Friday. It's Friday? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> well, you heard it here. It's finally Friday. We don't have very much today, so let's get started. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Seniors, remember get your cap and gown. Half of the class of 2022 have not yet ordered it yet. And graduation is 127 days away. I almost forgot the cap and gown prices are $53.44. And that's what we're rolling with today. Now to sports and weather with Nelson and Edwin. What's up, dogs? The girls basketball team had their senior night last night. Senior Jordan Fraser scored 16 of her game high 20 points in the first half, and senior Payne Debris added 16 of her own in a 44 to 37 victory over Southmont. Stingy defense by the Lady Hot Dogs led to a 28 Mountie turnovers. A great exclamation point on the careers of Fraser, Debris, and fellow seniors Karina Alanis and Laura Bullard. The girls are back in action next Wednesday for a JV slash varsity contest at Logan Sport. The regular season wraps up next Friday in a boy, boys and girls doubleheader at Crawfordsville. Next up, the boys basketball team will be in action on the road later tonight at Band Central. The game will begin at 6 with the JV tip-off and a varsity follow. Attention! The boys basketball team will have another game Saturday night here at home. The game is against Clinton Central. Let's get a big crowd. <laughs> By big crowd, I mean the student section. The theme is Hawaiian. This is a big county rivalry. Let's get a good crowd. The game will begin at 6 with a JV tip-off and a varsity follow. Make sure you come out and support the dogs, and most importantly, sit in the student section. The game will also be broadcasted here live on the Hot Dog Network and the IC Sports Network. Track announcement. Anyone interested in becoming a track manager should see Coach Galati in room 403 anytime during the school day for more information. More than one manager position is available and practices will begin soon. There will be a boys golf call out meeting for those interested in playing golf in the spring on Thursday, January 27th, immediately after school. The meeting location will be in the mezzanine of Case Arena. Last and least, the swim team traveled to Clinton Central to face the Bulldogs last night. The dogs finished second in the Clinton Central invite. Girls event winners include Georgia Meyer. Boys event winners include Ethan Cook. That's all for sports. Make sure you have a good day. Thank you, Nelson. It is currently 16 degrees outside. The high for today is 25 degrees with a low of 13 degrees, with winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. That's all for the weather. Now back to your host. Hey, what's for lunch today? Do you, uh, do you know? For lunch today, it's chicken. Uh, one and two, chicken strips, and three and four. I want to say grilled, um, grilled, um. Guy, you're throwing out false grilled advertising. Grilled cheese. <laughs> you're throwing out false advertising. Why can't we just have the good old-fashioned PB&J? Is that going to be there? Yes. What about the good old parfait yogurt? Might, yes. ha might have to snag a couple of those. You know, <laughs> do you do that whenever you're serving the lunch? Do you just take a bite out of someone's food and just hand it to them? No. <laughs> nah. I, I would. Oh, oh well. It is what it is. Whoever floats the biscuits. That's all for the announcements. Make sure to smash that like button and hit that subscribe button to get more notifications. Bye bye. <laughs>